Hello. Welcome to Noya House. My name is Andy Brockett, the Director of Community and Culture here, and I'm honored to be your host for this evening, taking you on a journey for the culminating chapter of the Future Techne series. Future Techne has been an ongoing salon series and a partnership between Noya House and the Berggruen Institute with my co-curator, Claire Isbell Webb, the Associate Director of Berggruen's Future Humans Group. The Salon series has asked how art and technology can challenge the ways we think about our bodies, our identities, and our relationships with each other now and into the future. Techne, in the ancient Greek sense of the word, is the exploration of knowledge through craft, the intersection of theory and material practice. So without further ado, enjoy. Um, I'm Olive Artizoni. And I'm Michael Flanagan. Our project is called Greenhouse, and we make environmental ambient music. A musician is only as good as their instrument. The same could be for like AI or other tools. You have to use them in a particular manner in order to get something out of that. My future techne is understanding like sort of a mutualistic relationship with tools that we use. Um, and that can be technology. It can also be instruments. It can be like a, a manner of things um, that we interact with on a daily basis and trying to like not look at it as a hierarchy situation. And my name is Liam Young and I'm a world builder. I tell stories, I build imaginary worlds that explore the cultural, architectural and urban implications of new technologies. I'm telling a series of stories that might constitute new hopeful planetary imaginaries that we might be able to rally around. My future techne is planetary imaginaries. I'm interested in the ways that fiction has always been a shared language. It's how our culture communicates and disseminates ideas. And in many ways, our relationship to the future has been defined by how we see images of tomorrow in popular culture. My name is Vani Verma, and I'm the Chief Engineer of Robotic Operations for the Mars Perseverance Rover and the Deputy Manager for uh, Mobility and Robotic Systems at NASA JPL. So I'm here at the Future uh, Techni Summit to talk about my work on exploring Mars with robots and to explore how it could be applied to remote exploration. Just writing a set of instructions, even we can't predict what will end up happening. So we do these simulations and after we've done that, uh, we'll send the commands to Mars and wait and see what happens. When you actually see it, like just flawlessly, execute what it's meant to do, that, that, that's just really amazing. My future technique is, is sort of creating robots that allow us to explore further and further out in the solar system and beyond and help us find life wherever it might be. I'm Christopher Calendron Thomas. I'm an artist. I often work with AI ML tools. Authenticity, which is an idea I'm kind of interested in. Maybe a slightly dubious idea. I'm not sure if it's a real... I'm not sure if it's ever real. My future techne could involve making things that are continually evolving. My name is Mohan Zanuzi and I am an entrepreneur and conceptual artist. I think authenticity has to do with both internal and external intent behind your work and your projects, whether that's art, um, creativity. I don't think authenticity is only in the domain of the human. I think authenticity is something that can exist both human, machine, as well as in the world and nature. I think authenticity has to do with kind of being for the purpose of being or creating for the purpose of creating. My future technique is leveraging technology to push culture and content and creativity forward. My name is Miriam Simoon, and I'm an artist. I work in many different mediums, including video, installation, performance, and often interrogating questions around interspecies relations, around sensorial ways of knowing. I'm here at Future Techne Summit presenting on the question of what are the intelligence that we need for survival. And I'm going to be talking about transhuman cephalopod evolution and leading the audience through some very short version of the transhumanist cephalopod evolution training and talking about the the embodied and somatic and 
empathetic and interspecies intelligences that we need that I think are actually quite crucial to our survival. So in this work uh, that I have, that I do, Transhumanist Cephalopod Evolution, it's a psychophysical training regimen where we do different exercises and different relational experiences. And through this, I do think we can expand uh, our sense of the world and of how we are in the world and of how we move affects everything else in the world. My future techne is a somatic knowing. My name is Michael Connor. I'm co-director of Rhizome and a curator and writer focusing on digital art. Rhizome is a digital art organization and we have a focus on the history and future of digital art. I think the word digital art or the phrase, it does a lot of useful things. And it, one thing it does is kind of create a conversation about works that require a different kind of, I guess, literacy. Those are the things that I think Rhizome is able to kind of offer. My future techni is more transparent relationships with our data and our tools and the communities that those are part of, human and biological and, and so on. My name is Edward Ma. I make music as edit, and sitting next to me is the multi-talented, multi-dimensional Lake Hills, creative director and artistic director for my group, The Glitch Mob. I also create art, visual art, and films. Jake and I are performing at the Future Techne Summit tonight, and we are exploring the question, what emerges beyond the spectacle? For me, being able to see something and feel something from it, as opposed to just being entertained by it. When I hear a song that I connect with, I almost like picture it, what is it they're going through? And then like, how can I help create a world visually that pairs with that really nicely? My future technique at this moment in time is expressing feeling and emotion with modern day music machines, things that you would think that they're extremely sterile or they're, they look like future computers, but trying to pull the emotion out of these machines to express myself. My future technique is creating a studio that explores audiovisual language. Um, all things from analog, hands-on practice to digital computers um, and exploring what that looks like, creating bridges between both worlds. I'm Taylor Lorenz and I'm a technology columnist at the Washington Post. I'm at the Future Techne Summit to kind of learn more about technology, meet other creative technologists, people that are into tech and having interesting thoughts about the future. I also just participated in a panel, which was really great with some amazing people. Michael Connor moderated and was sort of about the future of AI. My future tech night is citizen storytelling and empowering everybody to tell their own stories um, in the digital world and shape everybody's reality. I'm Dave Flint. I lead the user experience team at Lucid. User experience is how people engage with products at a human level. So it's the ways in which all of the elements of engagement and interaction with a thing become more human and interactive. I think technology is an enhancer. It allows the user and the human to extend potentially in capabilities they don't normally have. So to be able to do things that give aspirational input to the world, like I can do things I didn't think I could do, I can engage in ways I didn't think I could engage, technology enhances my abilities to perform. There are multiple forms of AI that we work with at Lucid. Some is generative, better interactions with the car, more naturalistic voice interactions with the car. The ability for me to understand at a more personal level this experience that I have and, and begin to think of this not necessarily as a thing, but as a companion. My future technique is um, creating a more natural environment for humans to engage with technology. The ways in which we think of enhancements and extensions not as alien and artificial, but more emotional, more connected to me at sort of a personal level. Wow, what a journey we have been on. I'm just going to leave you with a little quote. It's all movement, limbs and heads and tech and light and air bobbing in an analog wave streaming off the glint of digital particles pure, useless labor, churning out the excess of the world in the least harmful way we can make together. 